Hill, over Ray Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy over Ray Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Today, literally from BravoCon, you know, I'm charging my phone, first charging of the day because it's already dead of how many things that uh, have been going around, guys. Uh, I'm uploading all of the craziness that is happening to my Patreon. So if you want to see like what I'm doing right here and like real, like, like real time whatever tea that is happening go and subscribe to my patreon right now the link is in the description below but that doesn't mean that i'm gonna leave you hanging dry over here you know so i'm i'm uh, there are little pieces here and there that i do want to share with you of course uh from this beautiful place guys today we can feel the love here at BravoCon. Some of the people that I have met today have been amazing. So I want to give a shout out to all of the people who have like approached me and say hi and being so nice to me and so kind and take pictures and all of that. I really, really appreciate every single one of you and it really, really made my day. Um, also, the Bravo leverages that I have met, girl, I already, I already uh, met Teresa, Luis, Candace Dillard, Dr. Simone, Phaedra Parks, um, uh, Jennifer Aiding, Sarah Almadani, my queen Lisa Barlow. Girl, the list has been going on and on and on. This has been, I think probably today is one of my, the best days of my life, you know, like very close to my wedding day, you know. So anyways, um, I wanted to give you some tea and I think we need to talk about, um, I don't know, Vanderpump Rules, Real House of Beverly Hills, like uh, it's a mix of everything because Lisa, uh, Lisa Vanderpump, I'm sorry, just uh, did a couple interviews, you know, and she expressed certain opinions, you know, that they were great what we were expecting, okay? The first one, um, she talked about Bethany Franco and all of the things that she has been saying. Girl, Lisa called the shit out of Bethany Franco, okay? She was like, okay, she needs to stop, you know? She needs to like stop with all this uh, messiness that she's trying to do, like uh, that uh, NBC and Bravo has been amazing uh, partners, amazing people uh, that they have always been. <laughs> <laughs> they are always being um, next to, well, I mean, with her, you know, and like they really like her and they, they really, and she has never ever have had a problem with her. Not when, when, when she was on the Real House of Beverly Hills, not with Vanderpump Rules. So she doesn't understand what Bethany Frankel is really trying to do with all of that bullshit, you know. When it comes to the whole drinking situation, she says that she has never, ever, ever been pushed to drink or get drunk or like get extremely messy usually that's in on the bravo leverage's head you know sometimes the bravo leverage think that they have to bring it on so how they think that they need to um you know change who they are for to be in front of the cameras how is that bravo's fault at the end of the day you know it's like girl seriously so um that's one thing um, she called out uh, Raquel Rachel as well. She said that she doesn't understand why she was like doing also like all of these things with Bethany Franco when she was literally fighting the, the network to get more money to came back into the show. You know, so it was like, okay, so first you ask for money and when they don't give you money, then you are going to go and say like all of these Islanders things, you know, about, um, about the network. So it's kind of like so convenient you know what I mean so uh, there was one part that Lisa said that it was like very very true I mean we all have I think you know that's exactly my opinion you know at the end of the day many of these bravo celebrities they really think that they need to like bring that you know extra energy and, and that they have to be messy and that they have to like uh, do all of that that's on their head you know like if you have the right attitude and the right personality to be a reality star you will not be needing to get drunk to create a scene for reality TV because your personality will take you there, you know? Um, everyone, everyone has been saying, at the Bravo celebrities, you know, that Bravo has never pushed them to consume alcohol, you know? Yes, alcohol is available, but what, how is that a crime? Yes, they have bars everywhere, but they only pay for, or they only give two drinks max to each Bravo Leverity. After that, whatever they want to do, whatever they want to consume is up 
to the bravularity and you know like Elizabeth Vargas said on my interview if you want to get obnoxious if you want to get like weird that's your problem that's not the network's problem okay now the next part also is that uh, Lisa Vanderpump is talking about the possibility of a reconciliation with Kyle Richards and even though you know because in the past she was like that's that's like a closed chapter wherever we're done with that for the first time, Lisa is actually saying that she is open to a reconciliation. But that in order to be a reconciliation, there needs to be some kind of accountability, some kind of apology. You know, at least said, like, you know what, I'm sorry that I was a bitch, and then that's it, you know, and then they can they are able to move on. But until there are they are not accountability, not you know anything from Kyle's part. Well, they're not going to be able to move on, you know, but she is definitely very open to reconnect or re re no, rekindle Latino moment. You know what I mean? That uh, that friendship right there. OK, now um, she also said so they asked her about the situation with uh, Mauricio, you know, and she definitely says that that's something that is very hard to go through, especially in this business, especially with everything that has been going on, you know, and, uh, and like the world that they live in, you know, it's a very hard thing to go through and that she actually has a lot of sympathy for Kyle to go through, you know, all of this um, situation and that she's only, you know, expecting the best uh, from uh, Mauricio and, and Kyle, but, you know, time will tell because, bitch, they have been already separated for like a year and a half. Like, like Mauricio is like hanging out with all these random girls. Like, bitch, we already know that they're gonna end up like saying goodbye, you know. And even Crystal Minkoff, she was in a little panel like somewhere earlier today, and they asked her about uh, Kyle's relationship with, um, you know, Morgan Wade. And uh, <laughs> Crystal said that they definitely are very close friends you know so we're gonna have to wait and see what is gonna happen over there anyways BravoCon has been an amazing experience honestly you can feel the love everywhere you can uh, everyone is so happy everyone is like really living their best life there are a couple people that are already drunk and it's like 2 p.m. but and there are very obnoxious people around here I have to tell you guys like someone almost got thrown away from Jennifer's booth by her Jennifer Aiden's booth, you know, by um, her brother, because this girl was like wasted, you know, and like the brother was not having it. So, but you know what? That's what we are, you know. Look, people are enjoying and people are having fun. So, anyway, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Lisa Vanderpump, Kyle, Bethany, everything that is going on right now. And if you want to get all the tea related to the I don't know, Bravo World, you know, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also go around. See ya! Bye!